sub you do working on 2009 Ford Flex the code popped up uh, cylinder fours misfired which I already know what it is it's the, it's the coil pack um, so I'm gonna put the old one back on because I bought brand new ones and this is uh, the second new one that I've had go out um, if you order on Rock Auto, please order with caution. Because I paid, I know, over $100 for this set of cool packs from Rock Auto. And I ain't, they ain't been on the car five months, and I'm already having to replace two of them. They're garbage. They're, they're probably Chinese-made, and they're not OEM. Um, so... I will not be buying from Rock Auto ever again. But anyway, you want to take off your negative lead to your battery. You don't want nothing shorting out. You'll need a, a ratchet and an 8mm socket for this right here. And I've already broke it loose. Number 5 has already went out before and I had to put an old coil pack back on. And it fixed it. So now I went back, uh, number fours went out this morning. Took my wife to work. I just hope I can get the daggum thing out. Mm. See, this is a problem I'm having. Is pulling the fucking boots off because there's and and I put the damn grease on the boots when I replaced them. See, brand freaking new and it's already bad. So now I'm gonna have to get some needle nose pliers and rip that boot out. This is fucking ridiculous. This is how my morning's been. So let me get back with you guys here in just a second. I'm back. Got me some some pliers. Uh, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about about the flex when I get this done. Now, when you if you have this problem, you don't want to. Yeah, and I start yanking and yanking because if you don't, if you do, you'll just rip it. So you need to get in there. See? So I'm saying it was already done like that. It was already falling apart and it damn thing's brand new. This is gonna be fun. I'm pulling it out in pieces. As long as I can get around that socket with a with a, a wrench, as long as I can get around that thing with a socket, I don't care. There, got it out. I'm not gonna replace the spark plugs. I've already replaced the spark plug. The spark plug in it is brand new. But uh, I'm gonna dip it down in there on that. And see if this is if this if this see if this uh used coal pack is still good, which I know the other one was. <sighs> Place you negative. Hold down. There you go. You feel it getting snow? Just stop. You don't want to torque them things down because you strip them out. Then you have to replace that crap too. But uh, 
PCV valve, vacuum line back together. Let's try to crank it up. Uh, let's see if it fixed the problem or not. If it didn't, I got like four more used coil packs back here in the back. Boom, fixed it. One way to tell is walk up here and unplug it. Yep, it bogged it down. So this one's fixed. Uh, if you own a flex, the newer flexes, are they're really good cars. They're they were one of Ford's top selling like crossover SUV type car looking thing, whatever they are. They're really good cars. But this is the first year they were made, and so they didn't know any of the bugs, any of the problems that you're gonna have with them. They're a brand new car. But one thing about these cars that go bad is um, coal packs. They go. They often go bad on the newer, on the older flexes. This is an 09. Um, coal packs, spark plugs are typically to foul, um, and the uh, catalytic converters. I've noticed on the flex, they go out pretty, pretty easy too. If you don't keep your maintenance up. Um, I bought this car used. I didn't buy it brand new. And so I've been trying to keep it going, and it's just one problem after after the next. And so um, I've already had to replace this O2 sensor in the front and in the back. Those go out pretty bad too. Um, what else? That's pretty much all I can think of. That's the only problems I've had with one after the other. Like the, the O2, O2 sensor bank one went out. I replaced it. And then number two went out. I replaced it. It was like simultaneously, you know. Um, and then all, then like two, two or three coil packs went out. And so I, instead of just replacing them one by one, I just went ahead and replaced all of them and the plugs. And I ordered the cool packs from Rock Auto, which I will never do that again. I won't ever order nothing from them again because I spent over $100 on these cool packs and I ain't had them on four months, five months, and I'm already having to put the old ones back on. So I'm probably fixing to sell this car because I'm having one problem after the next and it's just killing me in money. Um, If you know any, if you've had any problems with your flex, post them in the post description down below. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much all I got on this video. Is the ins and outs I'm having with this flex. I mean, your flex might be perfect, might be nothing wrong, but I've had one problem after the other with this one. So, and another thing, the transmission on these is non-serviceable. You have to take it to Ford, and they have to uh, do it. And it's $117. Um, I just had this one serviced about six months ago. Um, uh, just let you know on that deal. Um, what else? That's pretty much it. Anyway, if you have anything to add about your flex, put it in the comments down below. You guys have a great afternoon, wherever you are in the world. God bless.